What's up, YouTube fam? Ha 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 ha. So guess what? Y'all remember the video I did about Fresh and Fit? And the little scandal and the, and the little bimbo that claimed she was pregnant and this and this and that? Well, guess what? There's been rumors and talks that she never was pregnant. But she came out. She admitted. The girl. I'm not going to say her name either. She admitted that she uh, she aborted the mission, if you know what I'm saying. Sadly. Now, I don't condone the abortion. I think people who get abortion are baby murderers. People who advocate for abortion are evil fucking baby murderers. They are. They are they're terrible, evil fucking people. Now, uh, abortion should only be used in very extreme rare cases. Like if a person was great, uh, you know, S-E, actually assaulted, or if somebody, or if like some incest, somebody was like violated by one of their own family members, or shit like that. I mean, or if a person is got knocked up and they ended up being kidnapped and brought into the most terrible situation and they're just getting beaten, tortured or something and chained up to a fucking basement, then yeah, I would probably say that baby's better off not being born. But other than that, 90% of the time, women like to use this abortion thing as just a, as a, as a form of birth control. It's like, oops, I got pregnant. Damn, I'm not ready to have a baby here. Let me just kill it and get rid of it. That's, yeah, man. I'm new. This is why I, this is, this is another reason, one of the billion reasons why I completely separate myself from liberals and anybody who, who, uh, who advocates for, you know, liberal ideology and liberal thoughts and values. It's all degeneracy. You got conservatism and you have degeneracy. It's not fucking liberal. There's nothing liberating about being a fucking degenerate and being a baby murderer. But now that we got that out the way, I just want to say like, I, this video was not, no, nothing really educational is going to be said on this video. I'm not about to really teach nobody nothing on this one. This particular video right here is going to be a little, it's just going to be me ridiculing all you beta ass, cuck ass losers who are just constantly, just always against anybody who talks about anything about being an alpha male or how to increase your income or how to work out and get in shape. How to become better looking and, and work on your chari uh, um, um, your charisma. You can be more charismatic so that you can be able to attract more women and this and how a nigga can how you can learn to get more pussy and learn how to make more money and just learn how to become a better high just a better valued man. Every time people talk like that, there's always a group of these beta ass cuck ass losers, man. These these soft ass feminine they have a vagina between their legs as fucking beta cucks who always got to be against that like why are you against men teaching men how to become better men I, I like i hate niggas who don't like fresh and fit i do i hate them i have deep rooted hatred for them it's just it is what the fuck it is <laughs> like you don't have to agree you don't have to be a fresh and fit fanboy because i sure the fuck ain't you ain't got to agree with everything that they say because I sure the fuck don't. And you ain't got to watch every single video and just subscribe to everything they do because I sure the fuck don't. So I don't expect you to either. But goddamn, you... But what you're not going to do is sit up here and try to bash them and talk down on them and try to make it seem like what they're saying is not true or that they're not giving any real valuable information that can help young men and older men. I mean, come on, bro. So anyway, the bitch, li either she lied or she actually did abort the mission. She aborted the fucking child, bro, which is what Fresh was trying to talk her into doing anyway. I don't respect that. I've been saying that. I said a hundred times. I'll say it again. I do not condone to abortion. I definitely don't condone to a man who could not keep his, his, his penis in his pants. I got to watch the words I'm using. A man who could not keep it in his pants. And knocks the girl up and then, like, oh, shit, I'm at damn. And then try to talk her into killing the baby. No, bro. I don't condone that either. Like I said, everybody makes mistakes. Again, fresh and fit are not angels. They're not perfect. They're not supposed to be, like, role model saints, holy saints. No. They're just two niggas who got a very popular podcast 
and they speak a lot of truths on that podcast. They say some bullshit sometimes, but the majority of the time, they're speaking some real hardcore truths. That's it. That's it. So they're getting so much hate. And this 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 chick, like, I mean, come on, bro. So we, I don't know if we ever even know if Fresh was actually the father or if she ever even was pregnant. But basically she's saying now, I, okay, I went to the clinic. There is no baby. It's over. It is what it is. Now she wants... Now she wants everybody to just be quiet and just bury it and just leave it in the past. No, bitch. You was talking about naming it after Abba, the dude from Abba and Preach. The two goofiest clown-ass niggas on YouTube, bruh. And these niggas, man, well, I guess I got to give Abba and Preach a little bit of props. I mean, they did admit, they, they did come out. They did admit that they were wrong. I don't know if they apologize really at the, uh, the Fresh because I know that. They've always had a beef. Fresh and Fit and I've been preached have been going at each other, bro. Like, they have been, they they say very disrespectful things to each other. They don't respect each other. They hate each other. They are, I mean, they are um, arch rivals, man. They are, they are real nemesis to each other. So, you know, I don't know if there's going to be an apology, but yeah, I've been pre, he was talking about he was going to help the girl if she needs any help with child support. Uh, he's going to help her go to court so he can get child support money from Fresh. She was talking about naming the baby Abba just to, just to piss Fresh off. Again, y'all playing games with a child's life. I hate to say it like as much as, you know, I'm all pro-life. I am 100% pro-life. But... You know, I'm realistic. I mean, I hate to say it. It's going to sound fucked up. But in a way, like, thank God that that baby wasn't born. Because that baby was going to be born in a fucking mess, man. What kind of, like, what kind of family structure was that child going to have anyway? So maybe she did the right thing. But it's just funny how everybody has something to say. Everybody has something to say against Fresh and Fit. But now that this, now that this came out, everybody's quiet now. I know this is gonna sound crazy coming from me, but oh God, do I have to say it? Yes. Yeah. Shout out to Abin Preach for at least owning up and admitting that they was out of pocket and that they were taking this shit too far. I guess, okay. Uh, oh God, I gotta, I gotta get, I gotta take a drink of water after saying that shit. I can't believe I just gave Abin Preach props. Oh my God. Uh, those fucking clown ass dudes. Oh, bro, I need another drink of water for that. Oh man, this is crazy. But anyway, for real, y'all. I mean, I just I just really want to make this video just to give an update. So yeah, this is an update about the whole fresh and fit thing. And it's somebody almost hit me, bro. Um anyway, it's a up it's really an update of the whole fresh and fit thing. So you know, since I made that video, I gotta I just this is my update for it basically. You know what I'm saying? Um, it's, it's very, it's just, it's just crazy how people will hate people got always got some shit to say and some shit to talk. Everybody was laughing at him. Ha ha. And then just clowning him, dude. I mean, he got pussy from a bad bitch that most of you niggas would never be able to fuck. Cause either y'all, y'all just too lame, too ugly, or y'all, and y'all just, and if she, and if he paid for it, which I believe he did, but even then y'all niggas couldn't afford it. If you niggas have money like that, Brendan, y'all will be cashing bitches out like that too. So you can get a piece of that fat ass. That y'all come on, man. You niggas ain't fooling nobody. Y'all did the same exact thing, bro. So stop trying to act all holy and almighty like y'all are just perfect angels, cause y'all not. But yeah, bro. I'm so glad. Um I'm mean, no, I mean I'm not glad this, this happened this way, but I'm just I'm glad Fresh is off the hook. Like for, listen, bro, he dodged the bully with that one. You know, rest rest to that child soul or whatever you know uh like i said i don't even think she ever was pregnant it, and it was such she was such in an early stage that it's like you know to all you pro um pro-choice people y'all guess y'all i guess i guess it it's not considered a child for whatever reason so i don't know bro but it's crazy how everybody has something to say about fresh and fit especially fresh because you know he was the one involved and um, nobody, but now nobody wants to say nothing. She done aborted the fucking child. She admitted she's like just all this drama, just can't, just too much drama, too much. No, bro, she went through all that shit. You know, she claimed she didn't want money, but we all know these bimbos want money. Now, all of a sudden, she don't have the child no more. 
And I'm, I, in my opinion, I feel like she was never pregnant in the first place. That's just, that's my opinion. That's, that's my views. That's what I see. I could be wrong. That's my observation of it. So y'all, um, again, man, this is, uh, yes, yeah, it's, it's one of them situations, man. Everybody got something to say when it's something negative, but when something, but now, now that he's now, now that it's all over with, it's like, you know, don't nobody want to give fresh his props now, which I get it. I mean, he was, a, he was still in the wrong, but it's like, you know, he's been quiet. He haven't really said much about it. He's just like, he want to see how it played out. You know what I'm saying? He didn't make her do that. He didn't put a gun where head and tell her to abort the child. No, she did that on her own despite the little phone conversation they had so that's all i'm saying i'm just i just want to give this update y'all um fellas keep it in your pants if you don't want to have a family with a chick keep it in your pants ladies if you don't want to have a baby by a certain guy don't open your legs for him it's plain and simple if you don't want to get knocked up period don't be out here having sex i mean if you're gonna have sex you know um shit protect yourself you know try to prevent pregnancy there's things that you can do to prevent getting pregnant so go don't be just going up in each other raw fellas don't be going up in these women raw man just come on y'all that's so that is that is my message that is the educational part i'm gonna put uh, at the end of this video so yeah the baby's gone <laughs> there is no baby sadly to say i mean maybe it's good for the baby maybe it's not but um yeah, so I've been preached. They did all that. Everybody did all that clowning. All that. Um, trying to make fun of Fresh and Fit. Trying to ruin his image. Trying to trying to um, um, defamate his character. And all this shit. Just for her to get a fucking abortion. I mean, come on, bro. I can't. You can't make this shit up, bro. Anyway, that's my update video. So. All right. I will see y'all tomorrow. Speaking of that, um, speaking of updates, they saying somebody done shot up Drake's crib and, and this and that. And now I guess his record company wants Kendrick Lamar to apologize. And Kendrick Lamar is saying, fuck you, <laughs> as he should. I will see y'all tomorrow. We will talk about that. All right. Peace.